want to take your game to the next level, you want to be a world champion, take the fighter training stack. Victor Conte's fighter training stack has brought me to the next level. Everything that I take on a daily basis, the fighter training stack is the best thing out right now. Devin Haney, I'm Snack Strong. Get it now, right now. Uh, first of all, you know, um, I just feel very honored, you know, uh, from getting a compliment like that from an Olympian, a silver medalist. You know, he's a great fighter. I feel like he's going to be unified champion in multiple divisions one day. So I feel very, uh, very motivated by just hearing him say that. And uh, I feel the same way about him. You know, he's a great fighter. He's probably one of the best 130 uh, pounders, you know, in the world today. And I feel like he's going to go in there and he's going to beat Valdez with no problem. I think it's going to be very uh, difficult for Valdez, Valdez to even catch him or, you know, to ca catch uh, Stevenson's counters, you know, and Stevenson, he's a, he's, a, he's a bad motherfucker as well, so, you know, I'm, I'm very happy to hear that from him. Yeah, the better, do you have any thoughts on that, and would your speed uh, be too much for either one? That's, uh, that's a great fight. That's one of the, the fights I'm most excited about this year, you know, just to watch as a fan. Um, I feel like, to be honest, I feel the experience is on Joe Smith's side because he's fought Bernard Hopkins, he's fought Dimitri Bivol, he's fought, uh, what's his name, Barrera, Sullivan Barrera. You know, he's, he's fought a lot of good guys. And then he hits hard too, so, you know, I feel like they're both motivated. I mean, it's, it's, just, a both, it's just a different level. You know, they're very motivated to become unified uh, 175 champion too, but, you know, just the way I was seeing Bertabe fight when he fought, he sparked, I mean, he fought that one dude, who's his name? No, Alexander, uh, Bosnick and I've sparred Alexander Bosnick too and I've heard him so I mean just seeing that he had a success with Berta Bia, it makes me think what if I go up there now I'm, I'm sure I could touch you know Berta Bia for Joe Smith you know because um, I have the speed and I have the power and I think going up to 175 I'll be even faster and even stronger and then obviously I've, he's been dropped before so has, has that kind of like put an idea like oh if Calvin Johnson dropped him like I could definitely drop him yeah, definitely. I feel like I could hurt anybody I put my hands on, you know, um, anybody. But, like, with knockdowns like that, I don't think, oh, yeah, he's, he has a weak chin, this and that. Because this is a flash knockdown, to be honest with you. Um, that wasn't his first knockdown. No, it wasn't his first? Oh. He got dropped earlier in his career. I can't, I can't okay, well, then maybe he maybe has a, you know, I mean, uh, if, if I catch anybody with the right shot, I could drop anybody. But, um, like I said, yeah, I don't think about that. I think about, you know, just being the best version of myself. Worrying about speed, combinations, power shots, body shots. And that way, I could, you know, when I'm 100% and I could see how I'm doing, then I could look at a fighter and see what I could put in and or, or what the type of combinations I could use. Thanks, David. Thank you so much for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.